Hi sweethearts, it's Amber, it's Wednesday. Today we are talking about name and gender change where we live. Stefan and I live in Dayton, Ohio. So he started the process for his name change in December of last year. There are five forms you have to fill out and after those are complete and you go down to the probate court and they will set a date for you. His date was set about six weeks after his visit to the court and that's pretty typical, six to eight weeks is about the turnaround time. Part of why they give you that time is that you also have to post a notice in the local paper stating that you're changing your name and giving the date and time of your hearing so that if anyone wants to come down and say some reason why you shouldn't be able to change your name, that they are given the opportunity to be able to do that. So after he set his date, he came home and emailed the local paper here. Uh, they got back to him, uh, it was right around Christmas, so they got back to him a few days later. It was in the paper just before New Year's Eve. And the paper also sent him a copy of what was, the, what was in the paper so that he could show that when he went to court in February. In February when he went to court, he was met by the clerk of the court who took his ID, wanted to make sure that he was who he said he was, and then took him in to meet the judge. He and the judge, it was just him the judge and the clerk of the court and the judge asked him a handful of questions. The first question was why he was changing his name. His reasoning was that people had called him that for for quite a while and that he was transgender and he was part way through his transition. Uh, the judge was really great and said okay that took that as an acceptable reason for him to be able to change his name. The judge also asked and these are I think common questions as well was he trying to evade creditors? Was he trying to evade criminal prosecution? Had he ever been con convicted for a misdemeanor? And had he ever been convicted for a felony other than a traffic violation? So if you answer yes to any of those four questions, there's of course a chance that the judge will say that you can't change your name. The judge also asked about his middle name, which is a, a family name, because I think the judge just wanted to know about it. It wasn't really a part of the official questioning or whatever. Um, after that the judge said you know you're good to go and it's fine you can change your name. He was able to get five copies of the official paperwork showing his name had been changed for free so he got his five copies and then went down to the license branch because it didn't take him nearly as long as he thought it was going to. At the license branch they were great. Um, he really had no issues at all with them. They, he gave them his old license and the paperwork stating his name had been changed and they were great. They did say that they weren't able to change his gender because he, he had to complete an additional form in order to have that done. For name change on his passport, I will link below to his video where he talks about doing, doing his passport, but basically he had a really great experience getting his passport changed. Part of why he did was he did the work on the front end to make sure that he had the right information and that he wasn't sending stuff in or taking stuff to the post office that they were going to reject. And then for Social Security, he went down to the Social Security office with his name change form with, a, with basically a new application so he could change his name along with a copy of his name change and the woman fills everything in and then shows you what she's entered to make sure that everything is correct and then they send you a new card about a week later so it was super easy. For gender change in Ohio, the most important thing about gender change in Ohio is that you cannot change the gender on your birth certificate. I've never really gotten a full explanation as to why. I did ask a law professor uh, at my old job, I kind of explained the situation and asked if she had a thought as to why or if she knew why. And she said her best guess is that Ohio especially tends to look at at law as what happens in the moment or what was happening at that time. So at the time that he was born, he was female. So they will never change the birth certificate because it's a record of that moment in time basically. So he's able to change his name on his birth certificate but not his, his gender on his birth certificate. So it's just kind of the way it is. It's weird because he can change his gender on every other piece of documentation except for that. But 
there are very few situations where you need your birth certificate so he's not super concerned about it and he does have and will probably keep uh, a couple copies of his name change and other gender related change things so that he's able to show that if need be. For gender change, for your driver's license, there's a form that you have to have sent to you from Columbus and then you fill out that form and send it back to Columbus and then they receive it, they process it and they send you a letter that states that you are able to change your gender on your driver's license and then you take that letter down to your local BMV and they will change it for you. So it's kind of a, what I would call an old school kind of process. Um, and he's only part way through it. I think he has already filled out the form and sent it back, but he hasn't gotten the letter back from them. For gender change with social security, he did that after his name change. He did not do it at the same time. There's a newer ruling that basically says that they, if you are in the midst of transition, that they do have to allow you to change your gender. So he went down with another new form and they were able to make the change in the system. He didn't need a new card because your card doesn't have your gender on it. Um, but again, they were super easy to work with. And gender on his passport was already changed. When he changed his name, he was able to change his gender as well. So his passport was actually the first document that he had with correct name and correct gender. That is the basics of name and gender change in Ohio. Stefan has been pleasantly surprised by how great people have been. He's really had no issues uh, in the course of, of changing all his information. No one's been rude, no one's said anything. And so that's made the process a lot better and, and really easy for him. Um, that has not necessarily been the case for other people that he knows in Ohio. So it is not a, a universal sort of thing across the state, but his experience here in Dayton has been really great. So I hope everybody has a great week. Uh, if you or your kids are starting school this week, happy first week of school and see everybody next week.